There are those of us who like to venture to the unexplored, to see the beauty in the strange and unknown. Those of us who go out there with a sense of wonder. It's the magic of risking everything for a dream that nobody sees but you. Beyond this place of wrath and tears looms but the shadow of the shade. Yet the menace of the years finds and shall find me unafraid. God. It matters not how straight the gate and how punishment charges the scroll. I am the master of my fate. I am the captain of my soul. I have to remind myself that some birds aren't meant to be caged. Their feathers are just too bright. And when they fly away, the part of you that knows it was a sin to lock them up does rejoice. Let me tell you about a voice. The one that whispers. It tells me what's right and what's not. When to leave and where to go. It's not Shakespeare. It does not speak in memorable lines. My inner voice always gives it to me straight. Tells me who my real friends are. When to say yes, when to say no. Whether the person sitting next to me is the one I'll be spending the rest of my life with. You already know that dedication, hard work, and perseverance give us positive results. Let your instincts guide you. Your 15 minutes are up. You better start thinking of something else. What else to do? What do I want to do? I was picked a day that I was going to go to the taxi and limousine commission to try and get my license. And the day before I decided to go, I got a call from my agent. Paul Newman is casting, wants to see you. Getting a job is like having money in your pocket. If you got it, you can get it. Strangely enough, so this was in September. By October, I had a TV job, a, an off-Broadway show. I was directing a play, and I was going to be, in January, going to do this movie. It's called Harry and Sons. Go figure. What would you do if you weren't an actor? If you didn't make it as an actor, what would you do? I have no idea. I would act somewhere. Because I'll die if I don't.